Hey, what's up? Welcome back to uh, this new video. This one is paper 3-3 of May, June 2012 of A-Level Math, paper 3. Now, with that being said, obviously, let's move on to the questions we have for you today. So here we have question number one. So we have to expand this thing in ascending powers of x up to the term in x squared. So one by one, we first have to simplify this. Now, what is square root of 4x, 4 plus 3x? It is the same thing as saying, well, the same thing on the inside, but power half. We agree? Now, when you have 1 over this, if you were to bring this up, you will have the value of 4 plus 3x power minus half. Now, we were able to change this into this form. Now, we can proceed on seeing what are the next steps we need to do to expand this. So, we should know, well, for binomial expansion formula, we have to have 1 here plus x and power n. This have to be plus 1, and this have to be negative or fraction, then we can use the expansion formula, which is 1 plus nx plus n times n minus 1, x squared over the value of 2 factorial. It keeps going on, but we can just stop right here because, again, we only need until x squared. Now, one by one, here we have this right now. So we have 4 plus 3x power minus half. Now, we want to make this become 1, become 1 to factorize 4 outside, obviously also bring the power with it. You'll have 1 here plus 3 over 4x power this. Now you can see, well, it makes sense now we can use the formula because this is plus 1 and this is negative or fraction, then we can use it. So this inside value will become 1 plus n the power times x, which is this one, 3 over 4x, plus n, which is the power again, minus 1, which become minus 3 over 2, then power, sorry, x square, divided by 2 factorial, which is just 2. Now simplify, let's see what happens. So again, you can always use your calculator, because why not? You don't want to make, make you don't want to be making silly mistakes, right? So here you have, that will be 1 minus 3 over 8x, here we have what? Minus 1 over 2 times minus 3 over 2 times 9 over 16. Divide by 2, that should be 27 over 128 x squared. All right, cool. Now, the value inside here is this thing, so we have to also multiply by this in the end. So what is that value? Let's check. 4 power minus half is just the value of 0 0.5. So, now 0 0.5, multiply this whole thing, let's see what we get. It becomes half, minus 3 over 16, x, and plus, divide by 2, so you have 128 times 2, that becomes times 2. 256, so 27 over 2, 56x squared. So here you go, you have it. This will be the expansion of this whole thing up to x squared. And that is your question number one. Let's move on to question number two. So here we have to solve the equation, uh, which means finding the unknown, which is x here, providing the answer to 3sf. So one by one, here we have ln of 2x plus 3. Now we can send this on top. You will have ln of x squared plus ln of 3, that will be because these two are the same, can combine them, that will be ln of, plus become, multiply, so 3x squared. Makes sense, right? For example, this whole thing is what? Becomes ln of x squared plus ln of, of 3. Because these two are the same, we can combine them by the laws of logarithms, that will be x squared times 3, which is 3x squared. Now, because we have ln on both sides, it will cancel out. Now, we will have 2 x plus 3 equal to the value of 3x squared. Send everything to one side, you will have 3x squared minus 2x minus 3, that will be 0. Again, since the question asks you for the value of x, correct, your 3sf, you will be assuming, of course, you will have to use your formula, right? So x have to be minus b plus minus b squared will be 4 minus 4 times a times c. That will be 40 divided by the value of 2a, which is 6. So 2 plus root of 40, divided by 6, that will be 
1.387 or 2 minus the value of root of 40 divided by 6 now be 0 0.7208 now we can double check well, obviously we have to select which one is right since here we have ln of x so we have two ln of x here and ln cannot take negative value so this will not be good so the only good answer will be this one, hence correct to 3SF, that should be 1.39 correct to 3SF. And this is your answer for question number two. Now let's move on to question number three. So here we have these two equations, x equal to this, y equal to this. We have to find dy by dx. Now again, how we will solve this. Obviously we can solve this by using the chain rule. So we should know dy by dx can be broken down. On top here we have dy multiplied by something but here we have bottom at the, we have dx at the bottom now they must be related or connected by something but we can see by the equation we have theta theta so that should be d theta and d theta so to find this one we have to first find this one and then this one and multiply them by each other so one by one we have y here let's find dy by d theta so differentiate with respect to theta that will be minus sign 2 times 2 plus 2 cos theta. So simplify, you will have 2 cos theta minus 2 sine 2 theta. Now you can see that in the end, the final answer, we only have theta and theta. So here we have 2 theta, we can break it down. So you will have 2 times what? 2 sine theta and cos theta. Now we can factorize, so this is common here, and this is common, right? So we can take it out, you will have 2, cos theta is common, then you have 1 minus 2 remaining sine theta. And this is dy by d theta. Now next one, let's find d, first let's find dx by d theta. So dx by d theta will be what? That will be uh, cos of 2 times 2 minus 1, which is 2 cos 2 minus 1. Now, obviously, we will have to expand this, but first, let's replace back in our main formula right here. So we understand that dy by dx have to be dy by d theta, which is this first one, which is right here, this one. 2 cos this times 1 minus 2 sin this. Multiply by d theta by dx. So here we have dx by d theta, so this will have to flip this upside down. That will become 1 over... 2 cos this 1 minus 1. Now finally, let's look at this. Now we do know in the end, we just want something in sine. So let's try our best to make this become sine, right? So here we know cos 2 theta is also equal to 1 minus 2 sine square theta. So here we have 2 times this, so 2. This one minus 1 is going to be 2 minus 4 minus 1. That will be 1 minus 4 and this one. Now by observation we can simplify this. How? We do know 1 is 1 square, 4 is 2 square. So it is 1 square minus 2 this 1 square. As you can see it is same as a square minus b square which is the difference of squares. That will be simply 1 minus 2 this one times 1 plus 2 this one. So again, how do I know I should be doing this? Because I know on top here, this becomes only 2 this. We only have 2 cos here. We have to cancel this one. Now to cancel this one, we have to find a way to make this become something like that. That's the main idea. So you will have 2, this one, minus this, divide by, this was seen to become same as this right here. Now the idea is obviously we want these two to match so we can cancel them out. Bam and bam. So eventually shown as required cos of theta over the value of 1 plus 2 sine of theta. There you go. This is your answer for question number 3. I hope the first half of the video was somewhat helpful. If you guys would love to access the full video, feel free to click on the Patreon link on the main page. Otherwise, you can go to the description below and click on this link to access the Patreon page.
for the full video. With that being said, good luck and thank you for watching.